Hi, this is Sean, and welcome back to Guitar Lab. I hope you guys are having a great day. I am going to do something that's a little bit not guitar-related, but in my instance it is. I have an old Nexus 6 Motorola that I've kept for years and years because it was an awesome phone. It still is an awesome phone, but it has the problem that many older cell phones have. It can't boot up anymore because the battery's bad. So I also have my first Nexus device, my Galaxy Nexus, for that was made by Samsung. And there's a video that I saw that I'll link below that uh, a young man did where he bypassed the battery in it. And in the Galaxy Nexus, that was very easy to do because the battery was removable. And I actually just did that, and it turned out fantastic. However, the Galaxy Nexus is an extremely old device, and its usefulness is is questionable. I'm still playing with it, trying to get it to go, but we'll see what happens. However, the uh, processor and so forth in the Motorola Nexus 6 is still pretty decent. I think it was a Snapdragon 605. Um, it still has some life left in it. So as far as it being a camera, it would work very well. I have my favorite amp of, of the amps that I have is the Marshall code. I'm hoping that I'll be able to use it as just a device to, to manipulate this if my primary cell phone's being utilized as it is right now in taking this video. So I thought I would show you guys how to do it. It's really not that hard. Um, you're gonna need a soldering iron probably and don't let that discourage you. If you don't have one, get one. It's not a hard skill to learn and uh, I'll take you step by step through it. So let's get started. So this is my workbench and there's about 13 different projects going on here at all, all at the same time. And I'm not the most organized person on the planet, but I'm one of those people that I know where every item is here. So if you asked me to find something, I would pull it right out. Um, but here's where we're gonna work on the stuff. So this is my, my old Motorola Nexus 6. I absolutely loved this device when it came out. Um, I, that's why I kept it. it. It's just a phenomenal advice, uh, device. But I can't get it to boot up anymore, which is kind of a shame. Um, and it's all because of the battery. Everything else is on it's still good. Which is what brings me to this. And again, I'm, I'm going to put a link in the uh, video below to a gentleman that did this modification to actually to this very phone he had a galaxy nexus and what you do is you remove the the dead battery and make a very minor wiring modification to it here again this is really not hard i did solder these i in the video i don't think he soldered them but um i mean you are dealing with power even though it's low volt dc it's not a big deal like this is not something that can shock you or harm you in any way so this is a great little project to work on. Um, I might have a little bit of a problem where the connection is made on the Nexus 6 of um, soldering to it, but we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. So the items that I'm going to be using for this are just some plastic tools that I bought online for peeling stuff apart. And they're, they're plastic, so they're less likely to scratch stuff. I have an old... Um, mini USB cable that's going to be the donor. That that end will have to be cut off and we're going to wire it directly. Uh, of course, the Nexus 6. You could probably use a hair dryer instead of this. I bought this on Amazon. It's a cheap one from China. It's probably not UL listed, even if it says that it is. I wouldn't use it. Except under extremely close supervision. Let me put it that way, because I don't, I don't trust it very much. Um, I do have it on a very heavy duty extension cord though and, and I'll be here in case anything goes wrong. So this is the first time I've done this so we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go at it. According to the video that I watched online, this is the primary battery connection. Let's see. It's not really on.
by looking at the pins on this, I hope you can see this. The outside pin is positive, and the inside pin here is negative. Now, this goes to the battery. That's not the part we're interested in. That means that we're going to have to put a positive terminal in here and a negative terminal in there. Well, this might be a little bit of a challenge doing. Next is our connector. Power supply, I should say, I guess. You can tell this one has never even been used. I have 5,000 of these things laying around my house. Please be careful if you choose to use that method of doing what I'm doing here. And also, be careful not to cut too far into this. You want to cut the casing that's housing the wires, but you don't want to cut the wires inside. So, some caution here is the best approach. You should find, well, actually, either two or four wires, depending upon the nature of the cable you're using. This one, only, surprisingly, only has two, which is all we need, actually. So if there is a, uh, if you open one of these up and it's a uh, four wire. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is power supply only, which is perfectly fine. So on this one. Red is going to be positive, and white's going to be negative. If it would be a four-wire one, though, you're going to have red, black, white, and green. Uh, red and black will be the two wires that you use, red being positive, black being negative, and the white and the green you won't use. But because this is a simply a power supply USB adapter, it only has those two. But that's fine, because that's all we need, because that uh, will serve our purposes. So now I really want to cut just as little as possible off of this. So it's very, very small and exposed because soldering this is going to be a challenge. Can you see if this is focused on that? That is maybe an eighth of an inch which will be more than enough considering the fact that I need to try and get that soldered on that. And we'll see if I can do that or not. Hopefully we can. Please don't do what I just did there. Hopefully you couldn't see it, so... I um, use my teeth as wire strippers. And I have a chip tooth here to, to prove it. I think that will be the end of this. Oh boy. I think that is okay.
Well, that's a good sign. So while that's booting up, hopefully you can see this. Again, this is specific to this phone, the which is terminal is which. Oh, nitrogen, nitrogen operating system. I don't even believe it. It's booted up, shows 100% juice. I just breathed life into a otherwise dead device.